Koala Care is the leading provider of safe and innovative commercial child care products and is proud to be the most recognized brand of baby changing stations. Did you know we offer 12 models of baby changing stations and over 20 child seating products? Our number one priority is the safety of your most important customers, and we offer a number of replacement parts to keep Koala products in good working order. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the shock on a KB100 and KB110 SSWM horizontal surface mount baby changing station. There are different shock kits required for each of these products. If you are replacing the shock on a KB100, please ensure that you have the 874 dash kit. If you are replacing the shock on a KB110 SSWM, please ensure that you have the 875 dash kit. The shock may need to be replaced if you notice your baby changing station does not close once the bed is lifted to about 40 degrees or if the door opens quicker than normal. Each shock kit contains instructions and a shock. You'll need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. You'll also need a non-abrasive work surface. It is recommended that you wear gloves during this installation. To get started, open the unit. There should be four screws securing the baby changing station to the wall located on the left and right sides of the unit. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the lower two screws and washers and set aside. While supporting the baby changing station with one hand, remove the top two screws and washers. Use caution to ensure the baby changing station does not fall once the screws have been removed. Set aside remaining two screws and washers. Remove the baby changing station from the wall and place it on a non-abrasive work surface. On both ends of the gas shock, there is a C-clip that holds the shock onto the ball stud. Facing the back of the station, locate the top of the shock and carefully slide a flathead screwdriver in between the shock and the C-clip. Once the tension on the C-clip is removed, you'll be able to pull the gas shock off the ball stud. Opening the door of the baby changing station all of the way, you should be able to locate the lower ball stud on the bottom of the door. Insert a long flathead screwdriver into the shock opening on the back of the unit. Locate the C-clip and release the lower ball stud from the shock. Remove the old shock and dispose. Slide the thin end of the replacement shock down through the hole in the back of the unit. Snap the end of the replacement shock onto the lower ball stud. Twist the head back and forth to ensure that it is secure. Close the door of the baby changing station and place face down. Compress the shock so the hole is level with the upper ball stud and snap into place. Please note, compressing the shock may require some degree of force. Twist the head back and forth to ensure that it is secure. Stand the baby changing station on the work surface and open and close the door of the unit several times to ensure that the shock is functioning properly and the door opens smoothly. Using the four screws and washers that were set aside earlier, secure the baby changing station to the wall. Open and close the door of the unit several times after the unit has been mounted. Clean up tools, dispose of waste, and close the baby changing station. 